PWCC is a great way to sell your sports cards. If you're looking for a way to support the Cajun Cardboard YouTube channel, consider using the promo code CAJUN, all caps, C-A-J-U-N, when you're selling your cards on the PWCC marketplace. Hey guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard, coming at you from the great state of Louisiana. And uh, I've been getting some comments over the past few months, and it's been a while since I've done this, uh, requesting that I kind of give do a top 10 list or a top five best Jordan cards that I have in my collection. Um, and so uh, I thought let's be a little bit more comprehensive, but let's put uh, our time constraints to the test. I don't want to make this laborious, long, and monotonous. So... I am going to flash my 23 best Michael Jordan cards in my collection in 230 seconds. You see what I did there? 23 cards, 230 seconds. The clock hasn't started yet, so it'll start right when I switch over to this little slideshow and we'll look at the cards. We're not going in depth. I'm just kind of giving you all an update. This is actually therapeutic for me as well because, uh, believe it or not, <laughs> over the last maybe... Uh, three weeks I have gotten heavy heavy into uh, soccer and soccer prospecting uh, in the soccer card market I know that sounds crazy I did not leave the Jordan world but this will be a nice refresher course and a nice pick-me-up and a reminder that hey you're a Jordan collector first and foremost you're a Jordan content creator uh, second and foremost and then you're a soccer card collector so uh, without any ado I'm gonna give it to you right now here's my 23 best Best cards in 230 seconds. Start the timer right this second. Here we go. Uh, card number 23, the 1997 Metal Universe Championship Galaxy. This slab's actually mislabeled. It should say Metal Universe Championship, Championship Galaxy, because it comes from that set. PSA 10. Number 22, 1998 Skybox Premium Intimidation Nation, BGS 9.5. Number 21. 1998 Skybox Molten Metal Fusion. I picked up this bad boy serial number to 250 in a BGS9 matching silver slab. I picked it up from the great Andy with B-Ball Card Exchange up at the uh, Chicago uh, National last year, 2023. Uh, 1997 Z-Force Big Men on Court. The other big men on court, the 1997, and this is a beautiful PSA 10 with Elijah Wan's arms sticking out in the middle. Card number 19 into the top 20, the 1997 Skybox Premium, Premium Player PSA 10 with Lamont Murray in the background. Rare, rare card in a PSA 10 slab right there. Number 18, let's go way back in the time machine to 1985. Let's go before the 86 Fleer rookie card. Stay tuned for more on that. This is the Bulls Interlake BGS 9.5. Nice grade on that card. Really tough to grade because it's big as hell. That's what she said. 1993 Ultra Scoring Kings PSA 10. I am a proud owner of the entire Scoring Kings set in PSA 10. And of course, this Michael Jordan is the foundational piece in that set. Number 16, the first of a few Legacy Collections. The 1997 Flair Showcase Legacy Collection Row 1. This card is serial number to 100. This is a Sasquatch amongst Sasquatches. I recently picked this up. This is the most recent Tier 1 Michael Jordan card that I picked up. And I got it uh, from the great Jesse Craig with Acquire. Uh, wonderful company, wonderful gentlemen, Brock and Jesse, if you ever have a chance to do business with them. Another serial numbered card, another serial numbered card to 100, the 1998 Hoops Slam Bams. There's a Bams number to 250. This is the big boy Slam Bams number to only 100, and it is a PSA 6. Too bad, buy the card, not the grade. Beggars can't be choosers. 1995 Skybox Premium Meltdown. Just like the Premium Player, which was a really tough card in the gym mint condition, this Meltdown is preposterous to find in a PSA 10. And that's a card number 14 into number 13. The 1997 Upper Deck Diamond Dimensions. Serial number to only 100. BGS 9.5 right there. Number 12 on the list. <coughs> the 1997 Metal Universe. My favorite set from the 90s. Platinum Portraits insert, BGS 9.5 on that one. Number 11, we're working our way to the top 10. Another, the second uh, Flare Showcase Legacy Collection. This is the first year Flare Showcase Legacy Collection, 1996. 
It is a row zero. Look at that vibrant blue font down at the bottom. It's just awesome and eye popping and it just pops off that red jersey. This is a row zero. It's serial number to 150 back in 1996. And this is a PSA 9 copy right here. Number 10 on the list is the 1996 Fleer Rookie Sticker in a PSA 10. <clears throat> number nine on the list is the 1997 showcase uh flair showcase legacy collection row zero so you saw the 96 and here's the 97 a year later but serial number to only 100 this one is the horizontal of course everybody will recognize that and this is a banging psa 10 copy of that 97 legacy number eight on the list the 1997 Ultra Stars Gold BGS 9.51 and 28,800 pack odds. And then if you demand a quad gem 9.5 or better, your odds become absolutely uproariously preposterous, despite the fact that there is no serial number on this card. One of the rarest Jordans out there, especially in gym condition. 1997 SPX Grand Finale. This bad boy is die cut. It is serial number to only 50 on the back and this is a PSA 9 copy of uh, the grand finale which you will find in tier one uh, number six on the list tier one from here on out guys the 1997 finest gold embossed refractor the GER as they call it in the Jordan community serial numbered to only 74 yeah it's got a little bit of greening but I've seen a lot worse than this one and it's a PSA 9 copy Number five on the list is the 1997 EX2001 Jambalaya BGS 9.5 Gem Plus, which puts it in pretty rare company. This is a card that I actually picked up, uh, you know, indirectly from uh, the great Jeremy Lee with Sports Cards Live and a good friend of mine and an awesome Jordan collector in his own right. Uh, number four on the list, the 1997 Skybox Premium Star Rubies, the Team Skybox Star Rubies with that amoeba pattern in the background. This is serial number to only 50. It's a PSA 8 copy, and this is the only tier one card that I've actually graded myself. This was a card I picked up in the Cross Country Collection, got it graded, came back to PSA 8. Number three on the list, none other than the 1986 Fleer number 57, the true rookie. Yes, I said it, the true rookie, PSA 10, and it's a, a, a stud amongst PSA 10s with a PWCC I appeal sticker to go with it. Number two on the list, uh, 1997 Metal Universe Championship PMG. This is serial number to only 50 with the scope pattern in the background. It is a PSA 8 old label copy right there. And then number one on the list should be no surprise if you followed my channel. This has been my number one for a very long time and I'm guessing it's going to be my number one maybe for Cajun Eternity. The 1997 Metal Universe PMG Red serial number to 100 BGS 8. And that is it, guys. Which one of those is your favorite? Did I get the order right? Did I get the order wrong? Let me know what you think in the comments. Which of these 23 cards that you saw today do you guys own? Do any of them pop out? Do any of them um, you know, resonate with you? Uh, let me know in the comments. This is just a quick video I wanted to put out there to kind of give you a pulse of where I'm at in my, uh, well, at least in the top end of my collection. You guys know I love to dig through the weeds. I don't know if that was 230 seconds or not, but I did my best. And damn, I can't talk any faster. Um, you guys know I like to dig through the weeds and buy raw and grade, and I like to pick up tier three and tier four cards, and sometimes I chase them in high grades, but uh, it's nice to every once in a while go back, especially if you're a vaulter like I am. I vault my cards, and one of the downsides to vaulting is I don't get to lovingly caress and nurture these cards uh, in my own uh, hands. And so uh, it's nice to every once in a while turn into the vault, sort by, you know, order of value, and then just kind of kind of talk through that and figure out which cards mean the most to me and fit where in my uh, personal Cajun cardboard hierarchy of my Michael Jordan cards. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I've got some other, uh, some other great stuff um, coming out really soon as the cross country collection kind of crawls to an end. I've got some uh, really great ideas that I've been just kind of writing down and saving for a future day. So um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel and this is the first video you've ever seen, congratulations. It's probably also going to be the shortest one you'll ever see because I like to talk a lot and most of my stuff is long form. 
uh, long form type content. Uh, but this will be a nice, short, easy, digestible win that's probably going to get a lot of views. And hopefully, it'll be a good, nice little conversation piece. So, um, you know, always chasing further into the Jordan world. Yeah, I'm buying soccer cards, but damn it, uh, Jordan is always going to be number one. All paths do lead to Jordan. It is nice to take a detour and do some other stuff in the hobby. If you do get stagnant, if you do sort to kind of burn out, and uh, and I kind of approached that stage for a little bit and then uh, took a few weeks off to, to learn something new, a completely new segment of the hobby the soccer ultra modern prospecting world yes it's a money sink yes i'm stupid but damn it i learned a lot and had a lot of fun the last three weeks and i'll still start to mess with that stuff uh going forward but uh back to jordan back to jordan content and uh and a hyper focus on completing my personal cajun cardboard um you know michael jordan hierarchy poster i want to check off everything on there which i know is not possible but uh you want to kind of push forward and that's kind of the way that i'm collecting right now so just giving you guys a snapshot of what's at the top of my collection thank you guys as always for watching keep collecting stay positive in the hobby and peace